two things our immediate needs that will affect what we do here. Right. One, having a, the ability to have that 24-hour coverage, mm -hmm. that it's not someone like myself or Scott that live in this area uh, to have someone here at the station, so you have that immediate response. To have that, you got to have the facilities to have that. Putting them in here right now with the way it's designed is not acceptable because we don't have the separation. With that plan of doing the separation, we would have to get a consultant and look at what we're going to do as far as the design was cost effective. But putting a temporary trailer to the outside, wait until the CSD is relocated if they go to this option, and then this space completely changes. And then we look at the build out from there for from that. It's volunteerism, immediate need for coverage, this facility being able to accommodate that is, is what we're focused on. So as much as I hate to say band-aid, I almost like the idea of the older modular remodel concept. But we're not uh, against that at right. all. We're not against and, it. And, 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 just look at it. Here's and some photographs. It wasn't modern. done though. It wasn't done. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't take that long to remodel a module. No, it would. So it could actually be used it, as office it space. Has, it would be living space because we can't live in this building. No, it's, I understand that. I understand that. But until you have somebody to live here, we would actively. As soon as there was a belt that would be huh? used, we would go to temporary fire. I'm sorry. I think they could get them quickly if they had a place for them. Well, mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. We would recruit them from Templeton Fire, we'd recruit them from yeah, Camp yeah. Roberts Fire, we'd recruit them from Passive, yeah. whoever is willing to come into coverage for a, I see a rate. Saying. I see what you're saying. We're not saying we're going to grab our community members and put them there because they already right. live here. Right. So we would have, that would relieve the burden that we bear the brunt of as being available seven days. That brings in the people that we don't have to. They're already trained. Yeah. Where they go. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What's the cost associated with that? Is this a well, we looked at this option right here. It's the not a <laughs> the tra <laughs> It's the a trailer belly school. We would have to move it if it's right. being offered up, basically, yeah. that we move it. But the condition of it. Uh, we're looking at ten thousand dollars to make it. I understand. Right. I'm, I meant the cost associated to hiring firefighters we, to spend the night here. We have a we budget. Have a budget. It's budget rate numbers, and it would be based on our coverage rates that we currently uh, go by. Yeah. So, so they, but they're public employees, aren't they? Are you talking about volunteers down there? They would they would be here on a, like a reserve firefighter basis. There's a rate already set for it was budgeted, and there's so many days out of the year that we have in the budget to cover for someone to be so here. So we're not paying CalPERS and no 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 no, no, no. okay. It's just basically it's minimum wage plus the the call rate. Yeah, that's it's minimum wage is what it is. No, twenty four hours. January. For twenty four hours, so they would get like two hundred and sixty bucks to stay here twenty four hours. Plus any calls they go on. Plus right. any calls. And the calls will be based on, on their their rate that we have assigned a rate. So they <coughs> would be the between sixteen and nineteen dollars for an hour for the call or two dollars for additional. We, we uh, have to make it attractive enough that someone would be willing to Right, you understand. And I like it for the training. Uh, just out of curiosity, the reserve fire cards with ISO requiring that when it comes to response timely coverage. Or is that considered volunteer still? I don't know. Versus eight versus full time volunteer. Well, it changes your it changes ISO your rating time. once you venture from volunteers into full time pay. Right. We're, we're we're down a yeah, yeah. hybrid of volunteers and basically it's a paid position, but it's, we're required to have a response within a certain mm -hmm. amount of time on our sure. ISO rating. Sure. Like yeah. 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 But that's in jeopardy. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm just saying though, by having reserve firefighters or coverage, will that help improve the office? I was going to let you guys take a look at it. We, had, we did yeah, give it to the board, but I took it back, so it's just for oh, conversation. Mm -hmm. shift, like what mm -hmm. There I have some change, and that's a huge step. I really have not, I just stumbled. So the only thing that I'm still not happy about is the traffic going down. I, I would not object to directing staff to move forward with placing the module out there. The, the only thing on, on that traffic, and, and I'd say the way that we could address it, but it's Monday through Friday at 8.30 to 
is through our billing, through our payment process, through having a drop station, having a payment location other than down there like up here. Those are the things that we can do to eliminate it. Uh, other than bill paying the people that walk in here looking for general information, that would still be here. We can't eliminate all that traffic, obviously. I don't know how big, I don't think there would be that much of a, a traffic impact on a daily basis. Well, can, we, can we not wait any longer and, and ask the community? Can we go out there and ask them? Can we, send them off, yes. can we send them a letter? Can we start somewhere? I know you're trying to get a hold of the HOA, well, but, but I would rather get an opinion from the people individually than one person that represents them. Because he may just tell you to go, you know. Like, no, what we're trying right? to do, we can make it. What we're trying to do with the HOA is get time that they're meeting in January. I see. But not necessarily ask him, because he probably right. would tell us. Right, right. right. The only thing yeah. I can think of That's is a, good plan. a public education, so they fully understand instead of hearsay, because we know how that gets right, right is, is be direct, be open, be communicating, and, and explaining to them, yes, there, there is an impact, but everything can be done to eliminate it, you know, with, with all our options. Do we know what the date of their meeting is? Uh, I believe it's the 23rd, but I have to double check. January 23rd. And and are, do they have a December meeting? No, no. no word. They do not. Nope. Can we get word out to them prior to? I mean, once we find out if we can be invited to talk to them, I'd like to get something in the mail to them so they can. It's at Lillian Marshall School it. and it's open. Okay. So I'd, I'd like my point is though I'd like to get the information to them prior to, so, the so they're prepared to, they can think about it. And, so the intent was to have a presentation for them right. at their meeting. But we can definitely give, make a packet up and distribute it to all the homes over there. Prior to it. And we can distribute it to all the homes along yeah. those access paths. Yeah. But we were waiting partially to talk to the HOA president to get permission, get permission to come to their meeting. The other aspect was really whether or not you guys are really committed to allowing us to move the district offices there. Because if you guys said, you know what, no, we're just not going to do that, then there's no sense in bothering them. We would still bother the HOA because we're building a treatment plant right next to them. But the rest of the people, we would kind of leave. I'm not opposed to exploring all the options, but I'm not in favor of it. Well, one, one thing on the uh, free options on the fire department, uh, it, it moves forward with the plan that I spoke to you about, that, that this goes through and those offices end up down there and that whole thing takes place. Once they're out of here, then we start the process of I understand. this, and there would be room if, a, if the app bay was built, and then there would be room in front for the CSD business, the, the payments and that stuff, just like the reception area. There would be room here for that. There would be no reason for him to go down there. And what he's oppo Kelly's opposed to that. He would write, rather have everybody in one house. And well, uh, let, me back, let me back that up. That's the step. They go down there, and that presents a problem. I'm not trying to say address it after it's a problem, but we do everything you're talking about. And if, it, if it's have not working, you, we still have an option to take undo that, it. To undo that piece of it. Right. Yeah. So, like. Just so we're clear, Mike. So once we get them used to going down there, we're going to let them know they're not going to go down there. Well, <laughs> my issue with leaving one person here as to take payments I, is the remodeling necessary in the front office to do that, to make it safe for that one person to be here, right. is it's going to take up that whole space and get tie up that whole space. So it's not like you're going to do that in general for a reception area. You're going to do that for that reason and that reason alone. You have one person taking money. And then, you know, on days where we're by themselves taking money, right? I mean, generally, there's at least two or three people here because we're all in the same office. There will be five but the person that takes the money needs to lock the door when they leave to go with you to a fire. Because you're not going to be here. Well, I'll They'd be here. Well, and if there's an incident, they're going to take the cash here with them. I'm hoping that yeah. Yeah. that yeah, is no longer the case where there's... We can't base that on... The right. person it's, I'm just talking about what it is right, right. now. And that's, that's part of the problem, is now we're all in the same building, so if 
if she leaves, then there's somebody else here. Right. But if she leaves, in the future, if she's doing that, then everything's locked up. Back in and now she's got to close everything down and lock everything up. And she's back in 15 minutes, maybe two hours, maybe. Right. She doesn't come back for four or five days. <laughs> you know, the is. Yes. But the, besides that person being there by themselves with no backup, no, she works constantly with Tamara to get her job done. Right. They work together to get all kinds of tasks done. So now not, you don't have one person over here, you have two people here. Mm -hmm. And you can see how tight it is in the front right now. So they really need, if they're going to stay in this kind of situation, they would need more space than what they have. Which means that now you're cutting even deeper into the fire station, which we're trying to back out of, right. to allow them the room they need to grow and be prosperous in their activities. So maybe that's not the you know 50 year pro uh, you know product that we need to plan for. Maybe that's the office space. Maybe it is a five or ten year product and in 10 years hopefully this commercial space is built out and we can move those offices back downtown and have a meeting room and an office downtown. I and think if you put the sheriff at that location you could possibly get money from the county and you can build to suit for what the sheriff wants. Mm -hmm. And if the sheriff's down there I don't think anybody's going to be complaining about having a sheriff driving through the neighborhood. Correct. No, I don't. Very smart. Well, they're driving through there anyway. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, but well, if you sell it to the public like that, well, we're providing an additional well, public service by having a sheriff in the county. The downside is there may be a few more cars running down your street, but you still don't have a sheriff. Right. Is, is, give it is there a consensus on directing staff and how to move forward? Uh, can I just say one thing also? If I'm not the sheriff, what they, they want the reporting, but they also want a place where they can interview uh, suspected uh, criminal suspects, what have you, because it's right They did now. say they didn't want to bring any criminals or oh, any stuff. They wanted interview. Interview. I'm sorry, interview. Yeah, just Great people that witnesses. Or something. Witnesses. witnesses. They would not have any. Because right holding, now. Holding. Or detention. Mm -hmm. That's their main thing was safe. Yeah, that is absolutely. Yeah. Safe, locked up for their computers and their equipment. Yes. Yeah. If you got a blank canvas down there, you build to suit. You build them the office they want, the door they want, the terminal they want, the yeah, access, the yeah. access yeah. they yeah. want. Where do they want to be? And they probably and they probably drop seventy five to hundred grand on it. The county would sell them a drug share. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 I think so. Sean yeah. made a Joe statement. Joe would Los County. John Sean made a statement mm -hmm. that if we were to design the area for them, that he I could know. get. He found money. He found money in the sheriff's budget to for money to help support with yeah. that. Cool. All he did say was, he's an elected official with a limited term. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you need to you need to think about these things and you know a ten year plan might not work for his uh, duration duration. Mm -hmm. um, I, I support the idea of um, if the sheriff will take any funding to clean up the sewer plan and build it to suit. I have a question about the sheriff and the sheriff and the the rooms that are there. Uh, I know in this building, sewer, uh, water, they don't get charged for their space in this building. But what can happen down there with um, the lighting, the solid waste, um, and, the water. and the water? It's going to be split. They're going to have building offices down there. Okay? There will also be CSD offices called CSD because they like tomorrow's is a CSD office space as compared to a water space. The fire won't be down there. No, fire will not be down there. Fire will be here. Lighting will be there. Yes, we do, I and do what is their cost going to be? So it will probably be a, it'll probably be a 45, 45, that's, that's typical. Something like that. That's typical for the expenses, the operating right. expenses. But what's their cost going to be for the space that they're in? To build it. To build, build it, or oh. to lease it from wastewater, or uh, what? So we, is the district leasing this office space from the fire department? Shh. 
So essentially the utilities are not paying anything other than their share of the bills to stay here. Okay. We're not renting space. We're not you know, paying in other than paying a share of the, the bills. Um, the lighting bill. If, if we were to go forward with that particular case, then the cost to build those additional rooms, the general manager, um, the meeting room, part of the, the account manager's office, the spaces that are not tied to water or wastewater would oh. be allocated over everybody. The ones that are tied directly to water, not so there'd be formula. Water, we would have to figure out everybody's contribution. There'd be formula. Going into the future, that most of the functions that would happen there are water, wastewater, lighting, or solid waste, because we wouldn't have a fire office there. Mm -hmm. right. but, so, so you have a fire training ground, though. So the utilities, all the costs associated with just moving our students, with the taking care of that mm -hmm. building, would yeah. be borne by all of the departments that are in it. Uh, this is 20 years worth of meetings in there. There you go. So we would have to reallocate <laughs> our costs. <laughs> and we have to see our. So I'm not yeah. sure I totally understood, Kelly. Uh, what I'm wanting to know is beyond, beyond the operating costs, costs, before operating costs, it had to be built. So say my office is a 10 by 10 and I'm lighting. Will I have to pay a proportional, I being lighting, pay a proportional cost for the building itself so that when we're having a loan, for instance, is there a portion of that loan that lighting is responsible for? Or that any of the other water, um, solid waste, are responsible for contributing to? I would to say it? so because it's going to be permanently housed there. So it so like be a formal. Now. That's so what I would expect. That's not what happened water. here, but that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. what so we'll, They'll have to come up with a formula that we'll figure out how many square feet are being it's used by each department. We'll right. know how much that building costs. <laughs> and to answer the building cost question, most likely we would identify the rooms or spaces that are not, not related to wastewater at all, and then the other departments would pay a share or completely pay for those spaces based on a per square foot cost. There you go. Going into the future, the maintenance costs would be spread across everybody. We obviously, you know, the we don't have individual people for all the individual apartments, so you know, most of the rooms are shared. Most of the functions of the utilities are water and sewer. So they're going to predominantly carry the burden of the maintenance. The uh, my suggestion would be in the beginning when we build the building that you know, because water is going to have a higher share than obviously lighting and solid waste, is that that dollar amount is set out in the beginning, and then they either make payments to pay that back to wastewater, or they just play a, pay a flat rate in the beginning to pay that back. It'd be like a square footage? Kind of? Based yeah. on square footage. So then the, the cleanest thing would be that they but that's make just one payment and say, that's my contribution to this building. And then going forward, everybody pays towards maintenance. Okay. I have a question on uh, the beat station. So we have stated that it's potentially uh, viable that the county would help offset the cost of building it out at the wastewater treatment plant building. Would the same not apply if it were here because it's ultimately going to be built out the money, oh, the money wasn't for a specific location, is my understanding. Yeah. It was for to help the district if we wanted to move in that direction of my offering the, a station. My, my concern is that how is it different? They still have to go through a gate that's locked. They still have to shut off a, an alarm unless the, their their space is separate from from that. Well, I, guess I, I think they're going to have the same issues as if they're going to the school, other than the fact that it may not be cut. The school's probably not customized to their needs. Right. right. Well, Ideally, in that third scope that we have, the 20 year plan projected out for the fire department, the sheriffs would have a beat station in the front of the building with their own access. So right. they would not have access to the rest of the building, with the exception of maybe coming in to use the restroom. 
The thing about it being down here that attracted them was high visibility. Everybody driving through sees they're in town. Mm -hmm. uh, then if anybody needed their services, they were very yeah. accessible. Yeah. And plus, if something went down in town, because one thing they asked to do was put cameras at either end before they had the one in front of the Elkhorn, but they wanted to be able to see 11th Street and Mission Street, because if anything happens, those are very popular locations for potential suspects or victims to <coughs> travel and they would really record. Captured by camera. And, and so it was very highly desired for them to have something in this area. I'd be more inclined to support them having a beat station in this building mm -hmm. as opposed to the new building. I, I don't oppose that at all. Uh, it's, okay. <coughs> so does anybody have a suggestion or a direction? I, I, I'm leaning towards this modular, and I'm leaning towards uh, getting information out to the neighborhood and getting into their January 23rd meeting. And I'd like to direct staff to go that way if there's a consensus. <coughs> I would do that. I think it's time sensitive, so there's a window. I think getting it is probably a good idea because it puts us on a path to getting staff and filling the fire needs that we need to fulfill. And then we can address the rest of this as we go. It gives us, it buys us a lot of time. Absolutely. It, and it would be one of our first steps regardless because in, until something's done any fashion with the CSD, we need to meet that need on the fire department side right now. That would take care of it until either the CSD moves or something's done. Is there anyone else that wants to be on The modular location would be here. Yeah, be yeah basically put to the north, way. right behind, right, or to the north of the generator. And utility hookups are fairly simple. It can Maybe be run right. on a power whip or you know, right. plug and play. The water and wastewater would have to be, you know, can it share the generator? What's that? It will share the generator? It would be, no. No, I guess if it was plugged into the building power, it would be on the solar and on the generator as well. So it would get set up for emergency power. It should be set up for emergency power. Oh, it's, awesome. Awesome. Um, it's about 30, what we say 34 feet by 10 feet uh, wide. It, it needs some work, but it's a, it's a good option and uh, it would help out with Pleasant Valley. How does that School. affect the parking lot? We would put it lengthwise so we wouldn't really take up any parking space. Yeah. From yeah. the dirt pile, the pile generator it gets the back of the lot. Okay, okay. It's, you know, it's so people wouldn't have to drive park. around it necessarily or anything. It would be on the back of the lot. And it's the back of the building, straight back. Running long ways, we'd be able to get yeah. through. You'd be able to get around it into the out to the alley. Yeah, yeah. you just have to go to the north to get around it. 30, 30 more feet. But we'd be keeping our tree, right? Yeah, tree the tree's tree. And on the other side of the generator. I'm just making sure we'd be keeping our trees, right, Anthony? You've got me on that one? Okay. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I support uh, putting in the modular um, for the fire staff um, and also putting in the, the CSD temporary uh, offices at the Wicks Work Treatment Plant, but working towards concept three as presented in this report. You know, um, working towards it, not doing it, and also getting the ter finding out if the sheriff is going to get in money for it. Yeah, yeah you know, looking into all those things. I think once that project is moving forward at full steam, then it would be time to start pulling the trigger on what we're going to plan for this building so when, when everything's moved, we can start moving forward. I also have on here coming back to you guys with plans for each of the departments, mainly the ones you don't have, like fire, uh, about what the immediate need is towards the master plan will be. Mm -hmm. I mean, this covers a lot of it, but we need more detail. Right yeah, we we definitely need more detail on the fire master plan and dealing up, you know, with the role of the district and where we're heading twenty years from now. But it's our ideas. Is there any board comments? Yes. Um you go until anyone else wants to go. I just what? want to make sure you guys I mean, do you know anyone what else want to go first? The consensus is uh -oh. We all know what's going on. I thought we could have sent to go after the, the modular. Okay. Uh, and I just want to make sure it's rock out of Contact out the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and go to the HOA. And continue forward with that plan. Yeah. And get Whether information on the, consultants. Like, and I thought that we were yeah, pricing consultants. 
talk to his buddy that kind of does that maybe for free. Get an idea what it would cost. Does staff understand? Contact AHA. Anything else? Sure. Who has more comment? But he's letting everyone else go first. Yeah, we just want to make sure we have everything that you guys want us to. I think we need for consultants. Clear direction. What's your more comment? Okay. Okay. Deep sides. Yeah. Right. Right. Actually, yeah. Did you make me a copy? Uh, I'm going to email you. Oh, okay. Can you have this too? Okay. Good evening. I spent nearly every day for the last three months going over the property tax data for our community. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. I'm sorry. I got so excited. You are. Good yeah. evening. I have spent nearly every day for the last three months going over the property tax data for our town. With data provided by the county, I reviewed every single neighborhood and property. The data shows that our taxing system has, I wrote is broken, but it has issues. Under our current system, we have neighborhoods paying more for the services such as fire than other neighborhoods, and some neighborhoods aren't even paying taxes for services that they receive in this community and provided by this district. The community was broken up into nine separate neighborhoods. Some contribute 22% of their property taxes to the CSD, one contributes 19%, and half contribute barely above 9%. This has resulted in a past financial struggles for the community and unnecessarily high taxes for many property owners. This system has little to do with Prop 13 and has been in place since the CSD was formed. It is expected to get worse as the community grows. Our current taxing system is also extremely fragile and result in another fiscal emergency for the district if the housing market collapses again. We cannot ask for a tax readjustment. The Templeton CSD has already asked for that and were rejected. As a result, our taxes have gone up to meet their shortages. I have worked to create a leak a legally viable tax system that would address the financial needs of the community in the current term and long term and falls attendance of Prop 13. I spoke to Mr. Roberson about this. The system will lower property taxes for an overlaying majority of the property owners by as much as 40%. This system will also fund new services for the community and possibly create a path to incorporation as the community grows and encourages new businesses to move to San Miguel. I humbly present to you, the board, a new system that with their request a staff review of it to confirm its legality if it is legally viable to move forward with it. And that's this lovely thing. You want to change legally viable with a, uh, all the exciting you, code codes. You want to change the property tax system? Is that our taxing system? I want to um, make sure that it's reformed so we're getting the property the right and So you're talking about undoing Proposition 13? I would not suggest it. No. Okay, so I don't know exactly why we don't have any authority over. We do, and that's why. Um, actually, I looked through it. I signed the code that would let us do this. That would not um, undo Prop 13. They wanted to protect it, and um, I wrote it all up. And I have a written proposal as followed by the guidelines in their state code. In our so, would the board have consensus to have legal look over it's this? It's just, it's really, I mean, I wrote the entire, but it's like two pages. It's yeah, it wouldn't good. take much. I wouldn't, just it, wouldn't it take the county being involved? Um, One step at a time, though. One step. I'm just asking yeah. if this yeah. thing is viable. Yeah. And because we, otherwise, we do that? Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all. You guys have to look at what he's proposing. Then our legal, if we you wanted this. the legal to look at it, they would look at it, and then we would have to approach the county. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. How many, how many communities did you find that were under the proposal that you... In this, in the state, sure. um, there is technically one community that's, uh, one CSE that's actually operating a similar system for the uh, bonds, actually in San Inez, uh, River Uh What, this thing? Yeah, I mean, your plan. I email it all to them, or can you guys just get or, right email? Yes. Well, this is it. Is there, Thank oh, you. Oh, you want it? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to send it for you. Can please send it to me so yes. I can send it out to you guys? Please. The right way. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ed. Uh -huh. well. Then maybe at the next board meeting, since you guys have had time to read it, we can go nuts with that to make hmm. you have legal look at it. Right. So the, the January. <laughs> right? <clears throat> what do we have on our <clears throat> plate for January? This, I got right now 13 items, but yeah. the waste goes mm, It's not going to happen in January. Well, in January, what you'd be doing is just providing consensus to move forward with legal, legal I, I understand. Which is going to require some discussion 
on top of 13 other well, items. A lot of the 13 items are basically, uh, you know what? basically a I'm not going to be board president, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Board president. He goes like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just, I look at the way all this community is growing and the way our tax is set up, and I mean, the more I, I dug into it, I went, that's, holy smokes, it's it bad. And so, you I, guys anything else? You guys will have your work packets tonight, or tomorrow morning, okay. for the 20th or the 19th meeting. It looked pretty bare bones. Uh, there's a few things in there. Right. We got mid year budget adjustments. That's your guys' right. speak. Mm -hmm. Is that going to take a long time? So should you you just, just tell us, sure. Review it, Billy, and make sure that <laughs> there's explanations. Well, is there a lot? I mean, is it. No, I, I wouldn't call it a lot. Mm -hmm. there, there's some. <laughs> no, that's pretty vague. Just I'm, say yes. I'm yes picking up my hammer. It'll be fine. So right. There's not a lot. But it does, it'll take you. Right. Two cups of coffee, you'll be through it. So, what were we? I think it's laid out pretty clear. Anybody else have it? Yeah. Okay. We need to do the time. Last time, John. This is the last adjournment. Don't get teary-eyed on us. Thanks, sir. I'll get you my team. Thank you, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir